All right, so now that we've added our membership plans, the next step is to set up our login and sign up settings. So go to Odd, sign up and login. We'll start with the login settings. Let's enable a sign up confirmation email. This way we'll make sure all users are signing up using valid emails. Now post login URL. So after we log in, where shall we be redirected? In this case, I'm providing you with a remix link with a template link. We have a dashboard page. So after logging in, we want to uh, redirect our users to the dashboard. Okay. So this is the page. This is my dashboard page. Yeah. Now let's see what advanced options do we have. You could set the access token lifetime. So if someone logs in, how long does it uh, keep them logged in if they don't log out? I set it to one month, which is sufficient. You could set your password strength. By default, it's just eight characters. You can optionally require lowercase, uppercase, numeric characters and special characters. Okay. You don't need to worry about these. Now let's see what sign up settings do we have. By default, this is our sign up form. The minimum requirement is to have an email. Now let's see what kind of fields do we have available. So these are the default fields, billing address, mailing address, organization, person name, which is first and last name, phone number, profile image, and title. Let's add for now a person name, okay? Later on, I'll teach you how to add some custom fields in here so you could collect custom data. Maybe for example, ask for a Twitter link, a Facebook link, etc. But for now, let's just set up this, okay? Now for the post sign up URL, this is the one time URL. I'm not going to set it up for now, but you could have a custom page. In my case, if you don't set it up, there is a nice confirmation message that outset assets. So let's leave it for now. You could require a reCAPTCHA, but in this case, you need to set up reCAPTCHA settings. I'm not covering it now. Let's see what other advanced settings do we have. So you could require user to accept your terms and condition, and you could set the required locations. For now, I'll not enable it, okay? Now in here we have our sign up and log in with Google. I have a video that covers this, so I'll cover it in the next video, but for now I'll skip it. Okay, click save and this is it. Now you've set up your sign up and log in settings without setup. If you found this video series helpful, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, like our videos and comment any feedback you have. This will help us keep creating content. And that's it. Thank you so much. Bye bye.